Um, so I had a dream last night. We're in a movie theater, and a big flash of light happens. And then you see a white horse, and it has some gold on it. And then you see somebody on with golden armor and white clothes and white hair and golden eyes. And he breathes out a sword. I was saying to myself, please can I go to heaven? Please can I go to heaven? Because I was remembering all my things that I did, and they were really, really bad. Bad. And so, and then we all, and when, G, when Jesus came down, rested his horse, he um his he got off his horse and he kneeled down to us and everybody hugged him. And when I hugged him, apologized all my sins to him. Then we, it was like this big hole. It was like 90 feet, 80 feet. And when you jump down it, the air is pushing you up so it hurts your finger. Heaven came down, but it didn't look like heaven. But I knew it was heaven. You couldn't tell because everything's white and gold. There's no golden streaks. No golden streaks. No. And we get back up. And I like, can we go to heaven? Can we go to heaven? Because Earth was still connected. Through. Earth was connected to heaven. First, you see Jesus. And then later on, when you look back, heaven's there. You, it's like a flash. And uh, Nora, like, boom, it's there. Daddy, 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 can we go over here? Can we go over here? It's like a 50-foot hole, another one. And so we, I said, all right, daddy, I'll go in heaven without you. And I jumped down in there. I hit a bunch of pillows. Look at the room, clock, bed, and all that stuff. And his hair was, like, right here. And it was white. Yeah. Wow. And what do you think the dream was about? Like, what do you think you felt? Like, what do you think God was trying to speak to you about? He's coming back soon. I want you guys to like um, tell tell us what my brother's dream was. The Bible even says that you know in the last days that your young men shall prophesy. So this is one of those things where we just get excited because you know God speaks even through a seven-year-old. 